Dear students, now we are going to solve one problem in two-dimensional discrete Fourier transform. Compute the 2D DFT of the given image segment A matrix is equal to 100, 0, 15, 255. Illustrate how the Fourier transform is used for image enhancement by applying suitable frequency domain filter sequence. Obtain DFT transformed matrix for the given 2 by 2 image matrix. So in this problem, they have given us one image matrix that is 2 by 2 image matrix. We are going to obtain the discrete Fourier transform. So in the solution part, first we need to write the given data. So here A matrix is equal to 100, 0, 15, 255. It is a 2 by 2 matrix. So here we can take the number of rows, number of columns, both are equal to 2. So next we are going to use the 2D DFT formula. So this is what that discrete Fourier transform formula for two dimensional data. Capital F of U comma V. So capital F represents what frequency domain signal. Okay, U and V represent the frequency coefficients that is equal to summation x is equal to 0 to m minus 1, y is equal to 0 to n minus 1, f of x comma y. So this f of x comma y is nothing but the given image data. Okay, e power minus j2 pi into ux by m plus vy by n. So here u and v both can be varied from 0 to n minus 1. Okay. We will understand this one. So here both are equal. M and both are equal. So we can take this value like this. So next the same 2D DFT can also be obtained by using kernel matrix method. So kernel matrix method is the simplest method. Okay. So here we can obtain the transformed signal by using this matrix multiplication. So kernel matrix multiplied with this image matrix then multiplied with this transpose of the kernel matrix. So for this 2 by 2 image matrix, the kernel matrix value is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So this kernel matrix for discrete Fourier transform can be obtained by using twiddle factor. For 2 by 2, we can get this value like this, W2, 0, W2, 0, W0. So here it is W2, 1. So this all are the values. Okay, so here we can get the value as 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Okay, first we are going to solve this problem using formula method. For 2 by 2 matrix, it is very easy to obtain all these 4 coefficients. So here, the input image is a matrix, correct? 2 by 2 matrix. Then, the transformed signal is also having 2 by 2 matrix, okay? That is, there are 4 coefficients. One at 0, 0 position. The next one is 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we are going to obtain all these values. First we are going to take the first value that is f of 0, 0. In this one we can consider u is equal to 0, v is equal to 0. Simply we are going to substitute these values in this formula. Okay. So here for this 2 by 2 matrix we are using the formula method first. And then we can solve the same problem using kernel also. Okay. So first we can substitute these values in this formula summation x is equal to 0 to m minus 1 m value is 2 2 minus 1 into summation y is equal to 0 to 2 minus 1 f of x comma y e power minus j 2 pi. So here it is x u x by m b y by n. So here v value is 0 simply we put 0 the whole term becomes 0. So here we can get e power 0 e power 0 value is always 1. Then we can get this value alone. Next we are going to expand the summation. We can get summation x is equal to 0 to 2 minus 1. First we can substitute this y value as 0. So f of x comma 0 plus f of x comma 1. So next we are going to expand the summation from 0 to 1 for this x value. We can get f of 0 comma 0 plus f of 0 comma 1 plus f of 1 comma 0 plus f of 1 comma 1. That means we are going to add all these values to get that first transformed value f of 0, 0. Okay. Then we can get the f of 0, 0 value as 370. So we have obtained the first value. Okay. Using the formula method. The same way we can get the next value f of 0, 1. So 0, 1 means here u value is 0. V value is equal to 1. Substitute these two values in the formula. 
summation x is equal to 0 to 1, summation y is equal to 0 to 1, f of x comma y e power minus j 2 pi, here u x by m, u value is 0, this term becomes 0. So next here it is v y by n, so v value is 1, 1 into y by 2, okay. So in this one exponential is having that value e power minus j 2 pi y by 2, correct. Then this two both get divided, okay. So here we can get e power minus j pi into y, then we are pi into y. So next we are going to expand the first summation y is equal to 0 to 1. We can get summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Here it is f of x comma 0 e power minus j pi. This y value is 0. The next one is f of x comma 1. y value is 1 e power minus j pi into 1. Next expand the summation x is equal to 0 to 1 here. Okay. So in this one e power 0 value is 1. We can get only this value. So in this one e power minus j pi. So we can take this value as such. And then we can expand that summation we can get f of 0 comma 0 for the first value plus f of 0 comma 1 e power minus j pi plus 1 plus x is equal to 1 now. Here we can get f of 1 comma 0 plus f of 1 comma 1 e power minus j pi. Okay. So next we are going to substitute all these values. Okay. So what all are these values? A matrix is equal to what actually? Its value is 100, 0, 15, 255. So f of 0 comma 0 means this value, f of 0 comma 1 means this value, 1 comma 0 means 15, 1 comma 1 means 255. So we are substituting all these values here, correct? And in this one, f of 0 comma 1 value is what? 0. Then the whole term becomes 0, okay? So here we can substitute this value as 15, f of 1 comma 1 value is 255, that is multiplied with this e power minus j pi. How can we write this e power minus j pi? So e power minus j theta is equal to cos theta minus j sin theta. So here we can have pi. We can simply put cos pi minus j sin pi. So for this e power minus j pi, we can get this value cos pi minus j sin pi. Sin of any pi values, it can be sin pi, sin 2 pi, 3 pi. So any pi values, it should be 0. So this term becomes 0. We can have cos pi, its value is always minus 1. Cos pi value is what? Minus 1. So we can get 115 minus 255 that is equal to minus 140. Do you all understand this one? Next f of 1 comma 0. That means u is equal to 1, b is equal to 0. So substitute those values in the formula. Summation x is equal to 0 to 1. Summation y is equal to 0 to 1 f of x comma y e power minus j pi here u value is 1 b value is 0 so this term becomes 0 we can get e power minus j 2 pi into x by 2 this 2 this 2 gets divided then we can get f of x comma y e power minus j pi into x then we are going to expand the summation y is equal to 0 to 1 so summation x is equal to 0 to 1 f of x comma 0 first we can put y value is 0 e power minus j pi x plus f of x comma 1 y value is 1 okay so e power minus j pi x okay then we can expand this x summation here f of 0 comma 0 e power 0 then f of 0 comma 1 this value okay first we can put 0 here e power minus 0 okay the same value next x is equal to 1 here that is f of 1 comma 0 e power minus j pi into 1 the same way f of 1 comma 1 e power minus j pi. We can substitute all these values here. f of 0 comma 0 is 100. e power 0 value is 1. Here f of 0 comma 1 is 0 into 1. Correct. So 0 into 1 0. Next this value is 15 e power minus j pi. So in the previous one we discussed e power minus j pi value is equal to minus 1. Correct. It is having only cos pi value. Correct. Huh? So we can simply put. 15 multiplied with minus 1 plus 255 multiplied with this minus 1. Okay. We can get that answer as minus 170. So f of 1 comma 0 value is what? Minus 170. The last value is what? f of 1 comma 1. 
So for that we can substitute u is equal to 1, v is equal to 1. So here we can take summation x is equal to 0 to 1, summation y is equal to 0 to 1, 1, f of x comma y e power minus j to pi. So here u x that is u value is 1, x by 2 plus v y by 2, v value is 1 here, 1 into y by 2. So here is common to both the terms, we can take it outside and divide with this one. We can get that value as e power minus j pi into x plus y. That's it. Okay. So next we are going to expand the summation for this y value. y is equal to 0. Now we can get f of x comma 0 e power minus j pi x plus 0 plus f of here it is y is equal to 1. f of x comma 1 e power minus j pi x plus 1. Okay. Next we can substitute x value. So x is equal to 0 now. These two values can be written as f of 0 comma 0 e power 0 because here this x value is also 0 right. This x value is also 0. So next f of 0 comma 1 here this value is 0 now. This term becomes e power minus j into pi correct. So next we can put x is equal to 1. Then we can write these two terms like this f of 1 comma 0 e power minus j pi. Here x value is what? 1 okay so here x value is what 1 then 1 plus 1 we can get e power minus j to pi okay so next we can substitute this value is 100 e power 0 value is 1 f of 0 comma 1 value is what 0 this term becomes 0 as it is e power minus j pi value is minus 1 f of 1 comma 0 value is 15 e power minus j pi value is what minus 1 f of 1 comma 1 value is what 255 so we want to find out what is e power minus j to pi. So here we can say cos 2 pi minus j sin 2 pi. So sin pi value is always 0, cos 2 pi value is plus 1. So we can take this value as plus. Here 100 minus 15 plus 255. Then the answer is 340. Do you all understand this one? So simply you can remember e power minus j pi value is minus 1. e power minus j 2 pi is equal to plus 1. So all odd pi's the same answer for e power minus j 3 pi, e power minus j 5 pi. So all this odd pi values are equal to minus 1. So similarly all this e power minus j 4 pi, e power minus j 6 pi, all even pi's values is equal to 1. Okay. In the last step we can write the answer as the two-dimensional discrete Fourier transform of given image matrix as f of u comma v is equal to 2 by 2 matrix which is having 370 minus 140 minus 170 and 340. This is the answer. Okay. So next we are going to solve the same problem using kernel matrix method. The same problem the same values I am taking here but here I am going to use the kernel matrix method. So in this method we can solve this problem within three steps okay. So first we need to write that kernel matrix for this 2D DFT of this 2 by 2 matrix okay. Its value is what 1 1 1 minus 1. So here the formula is 2D DFT matrix is equal to kernel matrix multiplied with this image matrix then multiplied with the transpose of that kernel matrix okay. So next we are going to substitute all these matrices here. What is kernel matrix? 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Here image matrix is 100, 0, 15, 255 multiplied with the transpose of this kernel matrix, the same one. If we are going to transpose it, transpose means what? Row becomes column, column becomes row, okay? So if we are going to change the row and column, the same will be there, okay? So we can get this value like this. Then we can multiply this to matrix just like normal matrix multiplication. We can take this row and we can take this column. So multiply this row column wise 1 into 100 plus 1 into 15. Similarly the second column 1 into 0 plus 1 into 255. The same way the second row with these two columns 100 minus 15 0 minus 255. Then we can multiply this value with this matrix okay transpose matrix. So here it is 115, here it is 255, here it is 85, then minus 255. Multiply these two matrices, then we can get that answer as 370, 
minus 140 minus 170 340 so whatever answer we have got in the previous method the same is over here okay so here we can obtain the 2d dft using formula method as well as the kernel matrix method okay